God is so good. In 1981, after the birth of my daughter, I became ill, and this was a slow process. In 82, the words then happened in my young marriage. My husband died in a car accident. I stay behind with two young children. When my husband died, I, I went home and I sit there and I say, okay, I accept it. Okay, God, I accept it. Okay, but now what, what can I do? It's your turn now. And I remember I have so experience with God. I have so feeling that he comes in me and he took me from the situation. You know, it's really like, the first time that I have so close with God, I remember I had to explain my youngest daughter that her daddy now went to sleep and was now with Jesus. Meanwhile, I was still ill. Nobody knows what, I wa what was happening with me. Four months, I was grieving for my husband and suffering this illness. In the end, it was so bad that I was not able to speak and to breathe anymore. It was really, it was, yeah, months, 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 more than two years, almost. Two years sick. Two years sick, yes, it's, it's crazy. They thought it was cancer. Finally, the doctors checked my lungs and I had a very severe toxic tuberculosis. It was not possible to see the TBC because I took medications for, for other things. Mm -hmm. So he broke, broke all the, the tests and never he can see that I have TBC. So that is why he was so sure that I have nothing on my lungs. And he ran to my sister and he said, it's not possible. It's not possible. It's 11, 11 dead. How you say that? Somebody mm -hmm. walking, living dead. I had no lungs anymore. No throat, no vocal cords. Immediately I was put in quarantine. I received very heavy medication. I was in a hospital and I have so beautiful moments with God. Really. So when I, I cannot speak, it was just my mind with him and I was ready to go to, to, to Jesus. I, I was ready to die. I was 35 kilo. It's uh, 17 pounds. So it was nothing. Every evening, my daughter called me. So, but I have no voice. So one of the, the, the evenings she asked me, I think I was four, four or five days in the hospital, like that, not a week. So, um, and she called me, asked me, mommy, you will um, sleep like daddy also. And it hurt me so much. It's, um, my heart was really broken. And I cry, really, I cry so hard, really. I was so sad for the whole situation again. And, and then I know I, 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 I yell to God, really. I uh, was so mad and so in myself because I have no voice, but in myself, I say, God, oh, I don't want to hurt my child you know it's it's yeah this was so so different so 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 on that moment i want to be healed you know just for her just to for me to explain and 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 like that that is why i ask God, please give me my voice back so I can explain what's happened with my body. 
The next day I woke up and the nurse in protection clothes comes as our usual. And she asks like a, like a joking, really like a joke. Um, uh, oh, what won't you drink tomorrow, today? I, I remember I, when I say milk, I thought, oh, milk, milk. And she looks to me and she say, what? You can speak like that? And, and, and I say, uh, yeah. And I, 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 I touched myself and I, I thought I, for me, it was a, a wonder that I can speak. Mm -hmm. I, and I thought, whoa. So I go, I, I remember I, I go sit. And she, she was like, no, 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 you know what? Because I have a lot of tubes and all the things like that. So, uh, and she said, no, 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 like that. And I, I was really confused. And on the same time, she ran out of the room. And after I have one doctor and then I have my specialist, he was always with me. You know what? We cover her and uh, put a mask on. And, you know, when I see the COVID, uh, all the things like that. I remember my, my situation then it was the same like that. And then covered me and I went to the, to the examination and I have a lot of tests and machine here, a machine there and a photo here, photo there. And he say, I don't understand what's happened here. He, he very loud, like in, in the room, what happened here? What's that? What is, like that. And everybody comes and look on, on the screen and I, I see my lungs again. And he thought, oh, it's, it's me that I was examined and I was completely healed. My lungs were okay. My throat was okay. My vocal cords were okay. Oh God. What have you done? Didn't Eve ask for healing and yet you healed me. You did a miracle. Thank you, Lord. If you see all the puzzles after and before now, it's so beautiful. Mm. It's, uh, yeah, it was not always like, um, oh, I'm happy, I'm, I'm healed. No, because you have friends and you have people that you know are sick and People stay sick and I was healed. Why? I was prepared to go and I looked for, for me. I saw Jesus, you know, and now I need to wait again. So this was really strange situations. It was beautiful. It was amazing. And still, I can only be thankful this is a small part of my life story with God. What happened here? It's 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 not possible. It's it's uh, it's a miracle.